Hello, my amazing third grade artists. Last class, inspired by the yummy cake art by Wayne Thiebaud, we were working on drawing the three-dimensional form of a cylinder and challenging ourselves to draw in perspective a cut piece of cake. Today, we are going to start our coloring. Our coloring is extra important because it helps to enhance the illusion that our cake is three-dimensional. The way that we do this is by adding some value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. You'll notice in this section, it's dark along the edge and lighter as it goes in. My frosting is darker on the edge than it is on the top. This is important to help it look like there is light that is touching the cake and not getting to other places. We noticed in Wayne Thiebaud's art that he had lots of shadows. We are going to do the same today. At your table, you'll see a little black and white diagram to help us understand how shadows work with a cylinder. When our light is coming from this direction, it creates a shadow in places where the cake is on the back. Let's go ahead and begin with our drawing first. Make sure that your lines are outlined with zebra and especially that you have used an eraser to get rid of all those pencil lines. We don't want to see the x-ray lines behind the back of our cylinder. For our coloring, we are going to use marker and colored pencil today. We want to take our time and do our absolute best job coloring with value. Let me show you the steps that we're going to take to achieve that. First, you can use marker and colored pencil that are the same color right about. So if I wanted to use blue and aqua, that's fine. Or if I wanted to use aqua and aqua together, that's wonderful as well. First, we will go ahead and outline the shape that we are going to begin coloring. Let me pinch in here so that we can see in detail. I'm gonna take my marker and outline the shape as carefully as I can. We're gonna take our time today with this process. Our coloring will not get done in one class. Next, I want to take a colored pencil that's a little bit lighter, and I want to color lightly with my colored pencil. Whenever I'm using colored pencil, I color in three directions. So that means I've colored side to side. Now I can color up and down and diagonal. This ensures that I don't see any of my colored pencil marks. I just see that beautiful color. Now I'm going to take a little bit darker color. Ooh, it doesn't appear darker when I first color it on, so I need to add more layers. And color again. And I think to enhance the illusion that there is some value, I might even add a little bit of a dark blue on top to make some shadow along the edge of my cake. Diagonal, side to side, up and down. I don't want to see any pencil marks. Okay, now the side of my cake is darker than the inside. We can see this happening here along the whole cylinder. It goes from dark to light, back to dark again. Notice how the frosting on this side is darker than the frosting on the top. Of course, you can use any colors you like, but when we're doing something like orange, for example, you could do a yellow orange on top and a little bit more of a red orange on the side. If you don't have details like frosting, you can go ahead and um, do the same thing with your cake here. Using your knowledge of value and how we can use our color pencils to shade, 
we can try to create the illusion that there is shadows. This is especially true down here below our cake on our plate. Use your color pencils to lightly color in a shadow and have that cake look like it is sitting on our plate. All right, boys and girls, our goal today is to begin our coloring. Start with outlining, erasing, and then grab our color pencils and markers and begin. <laughs> 